All right, on this part of the video, we removed all 20 screws off the front flat plate here. Um, we did have to remove the two uh, stud screws that hold the expansion chamber that was in the farther end. The smaller side is facing down. The side with the most threads is facing up. These did have to come out. This will be part uh, number 15. Yes, there's a part 14. Um, we temporarily skipped part 14 uh, because I want to take another look before I started to take these screws off which actually release each piston and I didn't know if this top piece need to be off first the flywheel so I need to do some reading and figure that out but I started over here and I actually numbered all of them because I noticed that a lot of them were sh uh, different sizes and it kept going back and forth these first two are probably the smallest and the easiest to find because it's the only one like that this this fourth one I believe is the longest um, but it's a total of 20 screws and I went like this in a pattern I came back around and then I finished off the hook um, but however you do it those two stud screws may have to come out on yours and so we kind of wipe this down take a look in here I don't even know what portion this is or what this does just yet uh, so yeah part 15 we'll go ahead create a gap the gaskets all intact we'll put that down and Put that down as well. Make sure we label. We got stud screws in here, um, so I remember exactly what they're for. And then we'll go back to fourteen. 